Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Friday, April 12, state that Nina Corinthos stood by her claims about Carly Spencer sleeping with John Jagger Cates, but Curtis Ashford could not believe she would cheat on Drew Kane. After Drew informed Curtis about his breakup with Carly, Michael Corinthos made it obvious that Nina needed to butt out. When Curtis was alone with Drew, he discovered that Drew had broken up with Carly after Jason Morgan returned. Drew insisted it was for the best and hinted at a new understanding with Nina as well. Alexis Davis informed Gregory Chase in Metro Court that she would be unable to serve as his plus one for the wedding because her appeal was scheduled to take place simultaneously. Gregory had a nice moment with Alexis as he grasped her hand and remained optimistic about her regaining her law license. Alexis said that Molly Lansing Davis was anxious about her mother drinking again. It left Alexis wondering if it was all worth it, but Gregory helped her see the value of taking risks. After summoning Carly, Michael sat down with her at the Metro Court Bar. Michael mentioned how Nina had been talking about Carly's night with John, so Carly explained the truth and how she was on concussion watch. In Jason's office, he spoke with Diane Miller about restoring some of his bank accounts and whether there was enough money to purchase back Carly's portion of Metro Court. Diane pointed out that Carly would be the real issue because she had previously turned down so many other opportunities to help reach that goal. Jason maintained that he could manage Carly, so Diane decided to make an offer and negotiate with Nana. Carly informed Jason of John's attack and how she cared for him thereafter when she dropped off the paralegal's files. Carly suspected Sonny might have sent the thugs after John, but Jason was unconvinced. Although Jason urged Carly to keep out of this, she pointed out that it would be difficult given that Nina was spreading false information about her time with John. It was only a matter of time before Nina told the entire world, including Sonny. Diane barged into Nina's office at Crimson to report that Jason wanted to acquire the Metro Court for 3% more than its market worth. Nina had asked for 15% instead, but after several negotiations, she agreed on 9%. When Diane indicated she'd tell Jason the news, Nina pointed out that she'd still need time to think about it. Diane explained that the deal on the table would not remain forever, but Nana insisted Jason could wait. Haven de Havilland was disappointed to find that Blaze would not be replacing Sasha Gilmore, and that Lucy Co. would take up their deception seat instead. Maxie Jones argued with Lucy over causing Sasha to quit and creating this terrible predicament. Lucy accused Maxie of power-hungry behavior and said that her association with Brooklyn was clouding her judgment. After speaking with her producer, Haven informed Maxie and Lucy that Deception's part had been canceled. Maxie persuaded Haven to reverse the decision, so Lucy eventually hit the air and did a poor job. Maxie appeared to know this was going to be a train wreck as Lucy rambled on about her time in protective care the previous year. On Friday's episode of General Hospital, Brooke Lynn spoke with someone on the phone about replacing Harrison Chase's truck with a better version. Tracy Quartermain discovered this and pumped the brakes, fearing Brooke Lynn would undermine Chase's sacrifice for their honeymoon. Tracy emphasized Chase's lovely conventional values before noting that Chase was most likely raised to feel he should be the breadwinner. Given Brooke Lynn's financial situation, this could be difficult but Tracy encouraged her and believed in her love with Chase. According to General Hospital spoilers, Brooke Lynn and Chase will face new challenges as they marry, so stay tuned for more predictions on what is ahead for these two. According to General Hospital spoilers, Kelly Thebaud has just undergone some life upheavals, but she is looking at it positively and seeing it as an opportunity to reinvent herself. Thebaud recently shared some exciting news with supporters on X the social media platform that was previously known as Twitter. Thebaud explained that she was resuming a previous activity. Thebaud is returning to her ideal role as a softball player, which she previously played. So, as part of my reset and self-reinvention, 
I'm joining a weekly code softball league in Central Park. That sounds like a dream, Thibaud stated in her post on April 12th. Thibaud also discussed her first formal game and how long it had been since she had played. Despite her restiness, Thibaud is clearly keen to test if she still has all the correct moves. Tomorrow is my first game, and we have a double header. I haven't played since I was about 14, but I remember being pretty good, Thibaud said. We have no doubt Thibaud will be fantastic, especially given this little softball trip is likely to be more about taking on a fun challenge than about winning. As long as Thibaud is having fun and doing something that aligns with her reinvention strategy, it will be a success. It's great to see Thibaud making big plans and diving deeply into the activity. Of course, many GH viewers are hoping Kelly Thibaud will return as Britt Westburn or a new character someday. It does not appear like there are any plans for it at this time, but you never know what can happen in the future. In the meantime, Thibaud has other projects to focus on, such as this Code Softball League and any other opportunities that may arise. What's next in Port Charles? According to our predictions, Carly Spencer will react strongly to Jason Morgan's imminent Metro Court gift. General Hospital spoilers indicate that Jason has moved on from Brit for the time being, so keep an eye out for updates on his next chapter. General Hospital spoilers reveal that the Tuesday, April 9 episode stunned fans on a variety of levels. Viewers witnessed Drew Kane and Nana Reeves engage in some hot and heavy hate sex, while Christina Corintos Davis saw something suspicious about Ava Jerome, and there was also a moment involving Diane Miller and Jason Morgan. General Hospital Spoilers Jason Morgan's Inheritance Drama According to GA Spoilers, Jason was attempting to reorganize his finances and required Diane's assistance. He also wanted to reclaim his former possessions, money, and businesses. During the debate, it was revealed that Jason divided his inheritance three ways. Half was shared evenly between his two only kids, Danny Morgan and Jake Spencer, and the rest went to Carly Spencer. Jason would be able to access his money shortly, despite the difficulty of processing because he was presumed dead without an official death certificate. Nonetheless, the inheritance scandal enraged many GH followers online. GH spoilers. Was the inheritance split fair? Many GH fans were outraged that Jason would give Carly 50% of his assets, while Jake and Danny, who are young and need their father's money far more than a 50-plus lady who was well-established at the time of Jason's death, received only 25% apiece. Then, other fans suggested that Jake and Danny are likely to be well-off financially because of their quarter main surname, which includes ELQ shares and any money given to them after their grandmother, Monica Quartermain, dies. Jason hasn't been a particularly warm source of affection for either son since he returned, while Jake refused to interact with his father when he came by for a visit. Danny was anxious to bond with Jason while he was healing at the Q's boathouse. Stone Cold never rejected the youngster, but it wasn't quite as sweet as some admirers had hoped. However, it is possible that he is suppressing his emotions because he is aware of the danger to Danny if his son gets too close. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.